Hello guys, Crispy here, welcome back to another video in this one my friends, I'm gonna be testing a GeForce GTX 650 from 2012 in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1. This one is the EVGA model of the card, 1 gigabyte version, we are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers as usual, and for some reason the desktop is just flickering every time I move my mouse, that's amazing. <laughs> also these drivers are the latest available for the 650, but they're not really the latest from NVIDIA because, well, this GPU is very old and it doesn't support the latest drivers. Over in Tech Power Up's GPU-Z you can see all of the GPU specs when it's not flickering. Again, it has 1 gigabyte of GDDR5, 384 CUDA cores, that's cute, and it released back in September of 2012, so it's over 11 years old. We're also pairing it with an i7-4770K, overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz, it's a quad core with 8 threads, and 16 gigabytes of DDR3 clocked at 24 400 megahertz in dual channel. Let's get into it, shall we? All right, first up, we should go over the settings, right? And I am starting at 4K. Why? I don't know. <laughs> More resolutions will be tested in this video, of course, but let's start with this. Performance mode is being utilized as well, 100% resolution scale and the lowest settings. Ah, look at those beautiful 4K graphics, my friends. Actually looking really, really sharp, which I enjoy, obviously, but... Uh, yeah, those FPS, oh my god, it's even worse when you get out of the buzz. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, some of the trees are taking a really long time to load, actually. Are they supposed to look like that? I, I don't think so, right? <laughs> Let's vomit, basically. <laughs> what is this crap? Oh my gosh. I I'm not really sure. Is this supposed to look? No, it isn't. Okay, it was just loading. Oh boy. All right, start counting our FPS. No, this is not the way I wanted to go. <laughs> it's probably for the best, though. If I went there, I would probably be dead by now. But hey, I, I went to try it. Anyways, grab a weapon or something. Oh, uh, that looked like a guy. No, okay, hey, we're fine. Sniper rifle. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely amazing with these FPS, isn't it? Ooh. So they're just hitting each other there. We, we managed to get a kill. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to, to kill this guy like this. Let's go. No, 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 no. Okay. Ooh, another guy. <laughs> okay, that's probably enough for <laughs> the, the 4K resolution, guys. I'm sorry if I gave you a headache or something, but I I was curious, okay? Curiosity killed the crisp, as the, the, the saying goes. Uh, so let's go down to 1080p. Ah, here we go. 1920 by 1080 using exactly the same settings with 100% resolution scale. And look at that. Now we're getting 120 FPS and GPU isn't even maxed out. That is great. Ah, this is so much better, my friends. It's like it's actually smooth, but it's not even getting 60 FPS all of the time. Maybe down there it will. Also, the GPU utilization is fluctuating a little bit there it's not at 99% all of the time but it's not because of a CPU bottleneck all right the i7 can handle much more than uh, 650 <laughs> in performance mode with many more FPS than these uh, Ooh, look at that it actually jumped into the 60s as soon as we dropped down here good stuff my friends all right it might it will be playable this is definitely doable okay let's go so this wasn't a lucky kill like the previous one. <laughs> we managed to do that. Oh boy, oh boy. Wait, wait, where's the guy? There he is, okay. Come on, come on, he has a sniper rifle. Oh my God, nice shot, dude. All right, I'm dropping in a different place. This is way more intensive here. Look at that, dropping into the 20s. Again, once we touch the ground, things should smooth out, but I'm not I'm not very confident in this one my friends we need to drop the resolution definitely start counting the frames shotgun is here where are the bastards oh oh that's much better inside we are in 80 frames per second as well as like 70s and stuff Ooh, 100 fps at times it's still stuttery though because it's performance mode and it actually stutters quite a bit unfortunately um even in higher end systems and higher end cards with more vram it's just how it is i also installed the streamed assets by the way or streaming assets uh, so that actually improves stability and smoothness if i didn't do that it would have been an even worse experience in terms of stuttering so yeah this is basically best case scenario there's like some some big shields right there this is nice i'm gonna drink those actually 
Wait, 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 wait. I kind of want this. I w come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can do this. Yes, there we go. Massive stutter there. Definitely very noticeable. What are you doing? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. Where is the guy shooting at us? I don't see him anywhere. Oh, there he is. Come on. Come on. It's a, it's a bot. For, from the way he's moving, it's either a bot or a Switch player right there, my friends. All right. Come on. What? The, why? Why can't I hear my my SMG? That's so weird. What are you shooting at? Oh, there's another one. That one is definitely not a bot, so we probably need uh, to to take care of him first. Well, he took care of the bot. So, nope. God damn it! Come on! Come on! No! I hate this. The stuttering is just insane. <sighs> All right, let's go down to 720p. I didn't like this at 1080. Oh, this is something that I haven't seen since, like, the Windows Vista or XP days. Oh my god, we can draw with our cursor. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Here we go. 1280 by 720 is now the resolution. Still on performance mode. Obviously, 3D res is set to 100%, and we're still at the lowest settings. Whoa, my capture card adjusted to 120 hertz, my friends, at 720p. This is gonna be great. It's really smooth. Aside from the stuttering. But yeah, when it's not stuttering, it's really smooth. Now, looking at the entire map, instead of getting like the 40s that we were seeing, we're now at 60s. That's very good, okay, because maybe this is worst case scenario, I don't know. Let's start by going to that huge mansion right there in the middle of the snowy part. Uh, this is probably one of the most intensive areas, because I guess the snow is intensive this season. I didn't really notice that with higher end cards, but hey, here we are. <laughs> Again, GP utilization isn't maxed out, but it's just because of how performance mode works, because once we touch the ground, as you can see right here, it's well above what we were getting at 1080p. Oh, what the hell? That was flickering? Okay. <laughs> and at 1080p, as you saw, we also got um, low GP utilization, so that means, oh my god, that it's not a CPU bottleneck, it's just how it works, okay? I have tested this game with a GT 1030 previously and the Ryzen 9 5900X processor which is much more expensive than the freaking 1030 obviously <laughs> and I was still not getting full GPU utilization in performance mode and only in performance mode uh, I would say that we are actually reaching the limits of the i7 sometimes I think this CPU is good for like 130 140 frames per second but out here for example we're definitely still GPU bound but hey we managed to find a smooth experience with the GTX 650 without making the game completely horrible in terms of looks. It's an 11 year old 50 series card, so entry level for gaming, you know, running an Unreal Engine 5 title in 2023 slash Four. And it's managing to get 60 plus FPS all of the time, VRAM is not maxed out, it's it's just as stable of an experience as like a GTX 1050 Ti from my testing in terms of stuttering and performance mode. So yeah, again, if you find one of these for like 10 bucks, it could be worth it, <laughs> guys. Not gonna lie, it's pretty impressive for a little 650 GPU. Okay, come on. Also, this card consumes 65 watts of power, which is decent enough. You know, it, it's low-powered uh, by today's standards. Obviously, for the performance it gets, it's not <laughs> efficient by any means. But your power bill is not gonna go through the roof when using it. So, again, for somebody on a very tight budget, if you can find these for 10 bucks, it might be worth getting just for Fortnite. And also Valorant and Dota 2. Those games will run very well. League of Legends as well on a GTX 650. Just avoid CS2. CSGO would have been very playable on this card, but CS2 definitely isn't. Oh, I'm hearing somebody. Oh boy, no, 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 run, run, run. Why did you stop? Gosh, oh, that's another guy with a freaking sniper rifle and that's a freaking bot or whatever the crap that is. Ah, uh, I am gonna die, guys. I am gonna die. This is gonna be it for this video. No, I don't want this. 
I don't want it to end like this. We had 98 FPS average. It was so smooth. That's been it for this video. I thought we'd need to drop the resolution a little bit further, but we didn't really need to do that because the 650 has what it takes to play Fortnite at 720p very well. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned in for the next video tomorrow because that's going to be a banger. I really think you guys are going to enjoy it and I'll catch you then. Love you all. Bye-bye.